Hello, my name is Ida and I have a podcast called Vula Puk and I also have a little shop called Vula Puk um, and in that shop I dye, I sell hand dyed yarn and some of the um, yarn that I dye is dyed using avocado, so avocado pits and avocado skins and I've had quite a lot of people asking me how I um, dye with avocado so I thought I would do a short little tutorial to show you uh, my way of dyeing. So if you look down on the table, I have, basically I have what I use. So these uh, skeins of yarn right here are all um, dyed with avocado. And as you can see, there's quite a large range of colors that you get. And you get this, uh, mostly you get a kind of a dusty pink. So what I do is, um, obviously I have the yarn um, right here, and this is a 100% merino wool. And then I have the uh, avocado. I usually just dry the avocados, so I know some people put them in the freezer, um, but I just clean them off and then I dry them and then I'm used, I, they're ready for me to use whenever I need to. And I just keep them in a um, paper bag and that works fine for me. Then you need um, something to soak the yarn in and then of course a pot and that's basically it. I always make sure to have at least one avocado pit in because um, I don't uh, use any mord mordant uh, and the reason that I don't do that is that there is tenon in the avocado pit and that works as a mordant so I always make sure to have at least one avocado pit in the pot to make sure that the dye sticks. I'm soaking the yarn in water um, and then I've added the avocado to the pot and I'm just going to put that um, on the stove um, and let it boil for a while. So it's been uh, boiling for uh, five minutes now and it's uh, slowly starting to change color. I've decided that the color is the way that I want it to. You can of course make it darker by simmering even longer or lighter by simmering less. Um, I will put this outside to cool down to room temperature and remove the pits and the skin and then I will add the yarn. My pot with avocado dye is down to room temperature. I emptied out the, um, the skin and the pit and I'm just gonna bring the water out of the yarn, dump it in and then I'll, I'll put that uh, back on the stove and let it warm up to just around simmering and then I'll turn it off. So the dye is slowly heating up on the stove. Um, I try not to stir it too much um, because this is 100% merino wool. So I don't want it to felt. It's pretty close to simmering now. And as you can see, there's still quite a lot of dye left. So what I usually do is, once I'm done finishing or done dyeing the skin of yarn, I'll save the um, the color, and um, there should be at least for enough for one or two more skeins. And of course, they're not going to be as dark as this one, um, but they'll still have a nice pink, dusty shade to them. And it's starting to simmer right now, so what I do is that I turn off um, the heat and I just put the lid on and I let it cool down. My yarn, uh, the yarn bath,
cooled down <clears throat> and I um, have just rinsed the yarn to get any excess dye out of it. This is what it looks like right now. It's still wet. I'm just going to put it in um, this bucket where there's a little bit of wood wash and it will we'll just leave it in here for 15 minutes or so and then I will wring out the water and hang it to dry and I will show you what it looks like tomorrow when it is dry. This is the finished and dried skein and as you can see it's got that dusty rose color and this is also the end of the tutorial I hope you can use or it made sense to you and that you are going to have fun dyeing your own yarn thank you so much for watching